Hello and welcome to this session on Postman beginner tutorial and today we are going to learn how do we create our test in Postman and then how do we execute them. So we are going to see what are tests in Postman, how do we create tests at different levels. So we can create test at the request level, at the folder level and also at the collection level. So we are going to go very basic step by step and learn everything about tests in Postman. So let's get started and to start with postman tests are javascript code that is executed after receiving the response back from the server so basically these are javascript code and this is executed only once the response is received back from the server let me open my postman and let us see the different levels at which we can create our tests so we can create the test at the collection level so if you go to any collections and go to these three dots and go to edit you will see there is a option for tests and here you can create your test in javascript code also there is another section called pre-request scripts now pre-request scripts will be executed before sending the request and tests are executed after receiving the response so both of them are javascript codes and pre-request scripts you can use for things like dynamically changing some values in the request before sending it to server for example dynamically updating the headers and so on and tests of course are run after we receive the response so we can validate the response with different javascript codes in tests now you can also create at a folder level so for example you can go to the collection and you can create new folder I already have a few folders created so if you go to any folder and again click on these three dots and go to edit again you can see you have the test section here and again you also have pre-request scripts and test scripts and then finally you have the request level test so if you go to any of the requests for example I click on this request that we created in our earlier session here you will again find the test section and a pre-request script section so here we are interested in the test section so if you click on the test you will get this test builder window where you can start creating your test now a very useful feature in postman is we get these snippets where we can directly create some test very quickly and it also helps to create some more advanced level test and this is something we have already seen in the last session so let us do one thing let me create some very quick test using the snippet so what I'm going to do is I will select a test where I am saying response time is less than 200 millisecond if I click here you can see the script is already generated and here in this script this particular yellow text is the name of the test so here you can write anything so I can say the name is verify that the response time is less than 200 milliseconds and this test name will be available in the reports as well so we will run it and see in a moment also let me create another test and I will say status code is 200 so let me click here and you can see again the test is created and I will again name it as something like verify status code is 200 now we have a very simple two tests created I can save it from here and now I will run it by hitting this send button I will say send and yes I have got back the response and now you can see here we have the test result section it shows 1 by 2 that means one out of two tests has failed and if you click here you can now see the results of the test and we can see one has failed which was verify response time is less than 200 and it says the assertion failed expected 1365 to be below 200 so actually we got our response back in 1365 milliseconds which is not less than 200 so this is failed and the other is verify status code 200 is passed also you have these options to filter the tests so you can click here 
so this is how you can create a very quick test you can also run your tests from command line from a collection runner and also integrate with continuous integration systems that we will learn in the coming sessions also if you run your collection so for example you go to your collection and say run so you will have a collection runner window open and here now if you just run your collection you can now see now along with the result of the request we are also getting the result of our tests as well so we have one pass and one failure we can go to the summary as well and then you can see the tests are getting executed so this is how you can create very quick tests in postman in the coming session we will also learn how to run from command line how to integrate with jenkins and other continuous integration systems i hope this session was very useful for you if you like the session please hit the like button and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel i will meet you in the next episode of postman thank you for watching